Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be doing something a bit different to what I normally do. Rather than doing the normal painting calligraphy that I do on this channel, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be throwing all that into one big book, essentially creating a scrap scrapbook. So, without further ado, welcome to my first scrapbooking with me video where I'm going to be talking through um, the steps I need to create this scrapbook for my Gold Arts Award. If you don't know what that is, by the way, it's just this, um, where you pick two farming arts, I pick painting and calligraphy, and then you just show yourself demonstrate improving within these arts. That's essentially what it is. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, so as I opened up the page, it was blank, surprisingly, so I had to write stuff in it. So for this one, because it's split up into four different units, I decided to show the examiner that um, I decided to show the examiner that this is going to be the first unit, unit one. So I sketched out um, the words U N I T. That's just for unit, right? I think it is. At least I sketched out those words, unit one, and I used a pencil, just a normal pencil. Looked at the internet, found the font that I liked, pretty much easy, and then I just sketched it out with my own eyes. <laughs> so pretty simple, but it did actually take quite a few attempts to sketch out these letters because I wanted it in the exact same way that I had in the font. I'm very picky with that. But um, it actually was quite good with it. And then as you can see moving on here, I used a Cordor pen which has a fine nib on one end and a brown nib on the other end. I used a fine nib to go over my sketches and then essentially colour it in with a brown nib. Brown nib? Brown nib? <laughs> I said nib there, I apologise for that. But I used this, I used the, obviously I used the same tricks as a click free pen. Um, going from thick and thin, but because my click pen isn't actually that big enough to write the words unit one, um, unit one that big, I had to improvise a bit by using the old pencil and pen trick, which was it went, went all right in the end. But then moving on, as I turned the page to another blank page, surprisingly, I decided to talk about my main art form, which was painting, because back then it was painting. So for this one here. I'd first titled it as my main art form, painting, so they could know because <laughs> otherwise that would be a bit awkward. So I used painting in different colours there and I used, did a nice little cute brush, which I quite liked. And then for this one, so I had to show myself gradually improving with painting. So how could I do this? Well, I could just show, well, first things first, I used to practice by painting backgrounds, tried different colours out, tried blending the different colours in, and I quite like that because it just let me get used to actually using the brush because my first time. And then as you can see here that plastic wallet, the green pla that green painting I turned into a plastic wallet because I as you can see I improved I improved quite a lot over time. Um but because I didn't actually print out the photos that I I didn't actually have all my paintings that could fit, I had to print them out, but I didn't have them print them out. So as you can see I used a bit of a template, but as you can see I just called them photo on the paper and stuck them in the plastic wallet. Now, moving on, um, I wanted, I did have some more paintings out that I could stick in here. So for this one, I just, I think I tiled this more paint, yeah, just more paintings, because that's what it was. And as you can see up, sc up screen, up screen, on screen, <laughs> I just, um, these are some of the paintings that I did. I can't remember the names now I gave them. Um, I remember this one, name, this name here, this one I called Moonlight Blossoms, because I quite liked it. It was supposed to be like a blossom tree in the moonlight, and I thought it looked a lot more cooler, but... Uh, it could have been better, obviously. This one here, I quite like. This one was really good. Um, I don't remember the name for this one actually now. I wish I did. But it was pretty much like a sunflower in the moonlight. I was obsessed with the moonlight. <laughs> I don't know why. And then here, that was a bubble one right there. Bubble Panic actually called that one I liked. And this one, this then Parallels. So those were like the main paintings that I actually stuck into this um, scrapbook. But there was a lot, I did a lot more, um, which we should see later on. But that's all the painting stuff which I'm glad with. And now we can move on to the actual main bit which is my new art form, calligraphy. I've literally just started calligraphy this September. So it's September is when I started this YouTube channel, I started calligraphy really. <laughs> I'm still really, really new at it. But I thought why not do it. So as you can see here, I um, this is originally my first calligraphy work. This is before, I know none of these on YouTube now because I was, did not. I did not post any of this on YouTube because it was absolutely horrible. I can't emphasize on how horrible it was. My calligraphy writing. It's because I used the wrong nib. I used the wrong pen. I didn't even like the feel of the pen, and it was just the overall thing was just horrible. So as you can see here, my calligraphy was not good. But what I used to do, I just, honestly, I just got pieces of paper and just wrote random words. Did like continuously writing random words. As you can see here, I mainly wrote my name and just wrote a bunch of random words. But, so in order to show that I improved in calligraphy, I did a bit of research into calligraphy. My research, so let's see where it takes me now. So I found three different um, styles of calligraphy. We have Islamic calligraphy, um, Western calligraphy, and um, Eastern calligraphy, I think it was. Um, yeah, 
Um, apologies if I got that wrong right there, but those are three different types of click free and then I had common fonts so I had to show common fonts so here I have euphoric script, aurora script, horizon script who actually comes up with these names that's the better question <laughs> but those are some common fonts that I've researched into and then after doing extensive and hard working research as you saw there this was pretty much the aftermath of it I got a brand new click free pen I used to be of a thicker nib this time I learned some new techniques some tricks and tips and this is how I did it really I just continuously practiced again and I mean I must have written at least wrote 100 words sorry like over 100 words of random words and I thought why not create one big massive book one massive page of just sticking all these random words in randomly and it actually created quite a cool effect which I'm happy with but um yeah with this page here I just must have stuck in at least over like 30 words of just random stuff as you can see here Salvatore um what else did I write? Dream, Machiavellism, whatever that means. <laughs> but nevertheless, it was quite fun. Most of these I actually got uh, from my friends, which actually I will come on to in this page now here. So for my second page here, I actually need to show myself sharing my artwork. So obviously here on YouTube, I'm sharing my artwork with you guys here, which I'm so grateful for. But as you can see up screen, I actually asked my friends for some random phrases and then I um, wrote them and they told me gave me feedback on it they showed me what i can improve on it which I, which was really really good um thanks to them actually they helped it helped me improve so much um as you can see here uh, from it i also linked with my tiktok in there i don't really upload much too much in tiktok it's mainly youtube which i also linked in there because i can show this for proof that i'm improving by just keep practicing daily like, honestly it is 100 percent practice that i say 90, at least 80% of this is just practicing, learning new techniques. That's all there is to it. It may seem hard, but honestly, honestly, it, it, if you have the dedication, like if you put at least half an hour a day in, before in the morning, half an hour just practicing, um, at least 20 minutes, half an hour just practicing, cling free, learning a new font, then it, it really is helpful. But moving on, I've rambled on for way too long. Here in this next page, I just threw in a lot of random stuff, as you can see here. Um, inspiring feelings. I spell incredible wrong because I've got the scene incredible. I know, shocking there. But <laughs> good thing I'm writing and not. Well, actually, you do need to spell, so that makes no sense there. But um, in this page here, I just stuck loads, and I mean loads of random ones um, here. And this was like some phrases that I did Pearl Flowers, Lonely Moon, Spectacular. Um, and this was like it, all of it is just a click free showcase, all this. As you can see here, um, both these pages that are now sticky in are uh, essentially all of the um, click free that I've been so far but so far that's what I'm up to in the scrapbook and I will definitely be needing I need to improve on this and add more into it so if you'd like to see a second video like this then please let me know in the comments but also if any tips or improvement then let me know but either way thank you so much for sticking to the end if you did I can't believe I've been talking for the past 8 minutes and 10 seconds or wherever we are now and I think I'm running out of oxygen so thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this please don't forget to like uh, if you want to see more but until the next time I'm done thank you <laughs> I had that was such a bad outro.